sound design. A lot of great performances in this film, but I want to talk about the sound design in Sound of Metal because it is so unique. I have never seen any film with sound design like this. Quick little summary of the plot, Sound of Metal, it's about a musician who starts to lose his hearing. All I'll say is that Riz Ahmed really redeems himself from Venom. Also, fun fact, he's also now the first Muslim actor to be nominated for an Academy Award the best actor category. So diversity, we're almost there. Riz Ahmed is great in this role, but gotta say something that always bothers me is that when people with certain conditions are characters in a film and they go out of their way to cast actors who do not have those conditions, it just seems like you could probably find a really great actor who's had enough trouble finding roles because of the condition that he has that you wrote into the movie feels like they could have cast somebody else. But that being said, Riz Ahmed is great. Not only is he great in this role, he actually went out of his way to learn as much sign language as possible and as accurately as possible. And they had a lot of different consultants around the set to make sure nothing was lost in translation. I do appreciate that. He did go the extra mile to learn sign language. That should be commended. A lot of Ahmed's co-stars in this movie are actually deaf, which again, kind of brings up you know, they were, so they, they did cast deaf actors, they just didn't want to cast one in the lead role. I don't know, not really sure what happened. Anyway, anyway, sound design, right? That's what, okay, stick with me. That's what this is about. This is a video about the sound design in the movie. Now, the only other time I've seen a subject matter of a deaf character be covered like this was in a very specific episode of Master of None, that Aziz Ansari show from a few years ago. They just had the entire scene completely quiet, but the way that they handle sound design in Sound of Metal, you almost feel like you're the one going deaf or you're the one who's experiencing bouts of loss of hearing. And it's this really, I mean, I can't imagine how this movie sounds with like headphones in, but like it's such a uniquely done style that I haven't really seen in films before, mostly because films don't really feature a lot of characters with uh, conditions like this. But when Ahmed's character first notices that something's wrong with his hearing, you feel it. They start to mess around with the, the pitch and the tone of different voices that you're hearing and different street sounds and random ambience. It's freaky. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like really uncomfortable and makes you nervous and worried. But at the same time, portraying the loss of hearing in this way also, I think, at least in me, sort of helps you understand what people with that condition go through. This is the sort of thing that you really have to experience for yourself because telling you about the sound design in this film and watching the way in which they implement it is so fascinating to see. I hope that it's accurate. I know that they consulted a lot of Dev co-stars about the way they were making this film. So I'm assuming that this is fairly accurate portrayal of what it is like. And I think that's amazing. Still sort of wish that the role had gone to a deaf actor, but considering this is about a guy who loses his hearing and not someone who's already lost it, I guess you could say that the decision they made was a fair one. Give Sound of Metal a watch before the Oscars because you won't be disappointed, but also give it a watch because sound design like this, if it does win, I don't know if it's nominated for sound design, it should be, but if it does win in that category, gosh, this was, this was really like next level stuff. So, so well done. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, leaving a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I make new videos every week. As always, I appreciate the support. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out.